the match here. A Borodudu, also a two-time Olympian and been uh, African Games champion. So these two together uh, are, are definitely going to put a show. Yep, evenly matched. A Borodudu. She's in, well, the white singlet with the, the red patches. I know you're a fan of the, the fashion here, Brian. I love the fact that should be a takedown there. You looked for the two. Did she get it? Borodudu, beautiful double leg, ran it, started it inbounds, finished it out of bounds. Two points for control. And she was able to ground the feet of, of Renteria Castillo and drive her out for two. But going back to the fashion of it, I love the fact that you, that nations can put their own spin on their singlet. It used to be you had to wear blue or you had to wear red. Now they can have different colors as long as the stripe is on the leg and across the back. Well, she certainly fashioned the lead here, has Oborodudu. Can she stretch? She's got hold of that single leg. The referee, you would imagine, will stand them up at some point. And Terra Castillo on top. But not much wrestling getting done here. And there is the whistle, stands them up. Jacqueline Renteria Castillo gave up that takedown by going back on her heels and was automatically ready to defend. She took something from that first hold and, and saw the tendency of Aborodudu and didn't allow that double leg to come again. Now back, moving backwards a little bit, trying to bait Aborodudu to walk straight in where she can take her attack. Trying to take the waist there was the Nigerian. Not really one continuous movement of wrestling. A little point for the step out though. Good times for the Nigerian so far. For them to go home with two medals when they only brought three wrestlers who almost didn't get here, that would be, uh, I would say, a successful tournament. No question. I hope someone, if the flight was difficult on the way here, someone should put them in business class on the way back because they've done the business here. Aborodudu, as we creep towards the latter stages of this opening period, as you can see for yourself, has a handy lead. Interior Castillo, as an attacking threat, has been subdued. Powerful, powerful. Aborodudu is it just a powerful athlete. Renteria Castillo, with two points on the go behind, was able to pull the hands of Aborodudu down to the mat. Renteria Castillo is another athlete who has gone up a weight class. She was down a weight class uh, for the Olympics and the World Championships. Decided not to hold that weight down anymore and, and uh, has gotten strong and grown into the weight. And almost has a strong position here for the leg lace. Halfway through, did she get it? She didn't, and uh, Aborodudu was able to stop the motion and stop Castillo, uh, Renteria Castillo on her back for two points of her own. Wonderful stuff there from the Nigerian. Great spot from Brian Hazard. Expert analyst here running the rule over this one. Now, they, that was a second exposure of the back, but what the officials are saying is that she never got back to a defendable base, which means she was already had broken the 90, almost got back to her belly, but never was in a place where she could defend. And so then when uh, Aborodudu brought her back to her back, no extra points. But plenty of points on the board for Team Nigeria. Blessing Oborodudu. David Guterres, the coach there, just to have a little conversation. Saying you can't touch this? Wow. Thank you. Stop. Hammer time. time. Although we'll be doing a dance of delight at the end of this one. She did touch her there. Touchdown at the edge of the mat. Still in the balance, though. A great counter right there. Uh, instead of exposing her back, she leaned forward and captured the leg of her, of, uh, her opponent, Renteria Castillo, and held her there so that she didn't have the ability to uh, return back to the lace and turn her. Great counter. Can Rentia Castillo pull herself back into this one? Well, in any fight, sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. Who can go back with the bronze here? Looking for the hardware, both of them. Renteria Castillo points down. 
Oboro Dudu holding the centre of the mat. A uh, beautiful penetration step into that head on the outside single. Now looking to cut the corner to get to the cradle. And now locked up in the crouch is Renteria Castillo. Aboro Dudu, again, like we said earlier, lived to fight another day, give up the points so she doesn't put herself in danger. Uh, but that made the close, that made the score very close, five to four. Hey, hey, hey. Renteria Castillo is really the more attacking wrestler right now. And I, I can't understand what the Nigerian coach is saying, but I'm sure he's telling Aborodudu, you need to be the offensive athlete here. Well, time is of the essence. Renteria Castillo shoots for the legs, gives up top position though. Aborodudu, so good on that defensive work. That was a perfect time for a counter attack. She did a, a fine job of sprawling and then Renteria Castillo stood straight up. She had the ability right there to take a counterattack. She did not uh, capitalize on it. Tries to capitalize this time, though. A beautiful whip over. So she caught an underhook when Aborodudu was taking a shot and whipped her, pulling the forearm and throwing the underhook over and was able to spin behind for a two-point takedown, taking the lead six to five. Well, the Colombian from Cali City here in Paris, she's in the lead, not by much though. Oborodudu from Abidjan, hanging on in here. Slap to the head from both. It's been conducted in good etiquette and spirit from both fighters, both wrestlers working hard. Nice movement from Rentia Castillo. And Oborodudu uh, took a fake step, backed up a little bit. Renteria Castillo stood up and she was able to capitalize with a straight double leg taking Renteria Castillo straight down to her hind quarters for two. That was textbook motion. And again, when we're looking at um, you know, basic steps, we want a stance in motion. She had great motion, great level change, great penetration with her foot and was able to attack and take the lead. Back and forth battle here, I love it. No question. That level change has changed the scoreboard significantly. Aboro Dudu has the gap. Can she hang on in here? Last minute, one point in this. A little bit of rough stuff. But it's been conducted in a good spirit. Referee doing a fine job also. Well, look at the intensity of Rentia Castillo focusing there on her opponent. Last 45. Aboro Dudu definitely has better motion right now. I feel like Renteria Castillo as I say that, she takes a nice shot, but I feel like she is, is planting her feet and not moving very well. Uh, and Aborodudu has done the better job of faking and moving, trying to create an opportunity for herself. Well, speaking of opportunities, can Aborodudu add another tally to the Nigerian success here? But Rentira Casiro shoots for the single leg. Great defense again. Tries to sneak round the back, gives up top position. Great counter attack, and that's what I was talking about with Aborodudu. Sometimes the best way... Oh, with seven seconds to go, she was able to slip right out of her shoe. Surely not into the last seconds. So she was able to limp her foot out of her shoe. Aborodudu had a whole handful of foot, and she said, okay, you hold the shoe, but I'm coming out of it to score my two-point takedown. Well, if the shoe fits, the champion in the bronze contest, Rentia Castillo in the last seconds there. Surely some mistake there. Blessing of Borodudu was so close. Renteria Castillo pulls it out. And she did the right thing by going for the attack there. And uh, I, would, I would love to see the replay of this limp leg and limp shoe. Well, there's the confirmation in the last seconds. Well, Adekori lost 5-4 in the last seconds. Oboro Dudu, our team.